Hey guys, welcome back to Push Ride Performance Garage. Well, a few videos ago, you saw I was working on my Capri, and I had mentioned on how bad my uh, my dash was. That was all beat to hell, discolored, everything else, all that fun stuff. How I needed to get replaced. Well, I got something in the mail today. I want to show you guys. All right, so in the interest of uh, economy, as we'll go. Um, I ordered a cover. Kind of get by for now. So this was uh, an Evil Bay special. So I guess we'll kind of uh, unbox here. It's supposed to be like a carpet pad that uh, kind of holds everything. Hey, it's the boss. Hey, Molly girl. How you doing today? Good stuff, right? Well, hello. I know. You can't. No, you, no, no, no. You, you, you can't have the knife. Knives are not for puppies. Something. So, and that'll never happen ever again. So, we're going to try. Try. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Hopefully, I don't cut it. So, I guess these are made to order. And, uh, we'll kind of see what we got here. I almost thought the box was empty for a second. I'm like, huh, sent me an empty box. Okay. Thing here. Ooh, I'll be dipped. Look at this. Look at this. Let's go. What do you say we go outside and go and, 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 and check this out? This, dude, it's like velour. Okay, got some instructions on the back side. Let's go over here. What we'll do is we'll probably end up rolling this out, get it in the sun. Holy crap. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Some things here. Look at, I might not even need to uh, let this chill in the sun. Wow. Well, what do you say we take it over to the Capri and uh, let's see what it looks like, huh? Well, after reading the destructions on this, uh, apparently you need to clean this off with alcohol because they got little Velcro pieces that you uh, cut. But the other thing is too, with these cracks and other stuff, I guess you kind of want to, uh, as much as I hate to make things worse, kind of want to flatten some of these out and then what's even where uh uh what even worse yet is the old speaker oh it's just crumbling to uh i should really oh boy should probably get the uh, 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 uh vacuum cleaner here oh. It just sucks on how like all this shit just deteriorates and I'm afraid to touch anything on that side because it'll, you know, let's just push that all into the dash. It'll go somewhere, just don't know where. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess that could just go into there. Mm, it's okay, I suppose. It's... Oh, no, oh boy. Hmm. Well, I mean, <laughs> uh, this poor car. I tell you. go get the vacuum cleaner and uh, I guess I'll suck out the uh, dashboard trimmings or whatever you want to call them and we'll go from there all right noisy time really by noisy time I didn't mean that I meant 
I guess I have to go walk back to the garage now and make sure that it's plugged in. <sighs> Now that we're done with the loud and annoying part, and now that this is still in the way, uh-huh. All right, let's. So take your isopropyl alcohol or brake cleaner in a lint-free cloth. Don't worry, if you have any cuts on your hands, this will find it. This will definitely 100% find it, so. Have no fear. You need the alcohol so that your supplied Velcro strips from the constructions will stick. Plus, remember when we put all that DLR and other stuff on here? Well, yeah, there's, there's, there's that. This will help remove it. Ew. Maybe I should have just put it in a squirt bottle. Maybe that would have worked out better. I don't know. Just it down. <coughs> now it smells like a doctor's office in here. Hmm. Smells like a doctor's office in here now. That's great. We got that going. Ow! Yep, there's the, there's the burn. Anything else? I guess we're ready to. Ow, ow, it burns. I guess we're ready to stick some Velcro pieces on here and we'll see how our nice velour cover will fit. Yeah. Uh huh. That's great. This is just a temporary thing. <sighs> Ow, my hands burn. Okay. So, that's clean. Got our Velcro pieces. I got more in the garage if I need them. So, what are destructions, seriously? Oh, well, well, if I tore it, uh, why can't I just put this in the box, you know? Shape contours, align your vents, tuck between the windshield. Oh, a small plastic spatula works. So I got, you know, 
these ones. Hmm. No, I don't have displays. Oh, uh, no cutoffs for speakers. It's okay. The, 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 the stereo's under the hood. Oh, make half inch wide tabs. Twenty-four small tabs. Hmm. <laughs> Do not skip this step. I'm pretending to know how to read because you know I went to public school and whatnot. What it says to do is, you know, cut about 24 of these. I give you these nice little strips here. And you just cut them up. And then you put them in different places on the dash. It says put them on the mount them to the to the thing. So you just kinda I guess, you know, pick, choose, decide, guess, pontificate where you're gonna put your Velcro thingies and then you put your dash on there. And it says, okay, I'm, I'm on. Sounds simple enough, right? Okay, so I didn't count. I just started cutting, so now I have pieces that are like this. And here's our nice velour cover. Look at this. Ooh, velour. So I'm gonna see if I can get this all dirty before I, uh, you know, put it on the uh, put it on the dash. So I guess, well, I guess it's always good to put them in the in the front there. And you got, oh jeez, the front's probably always a good spot to put your velcros, huh? I don't know. I'm just taking a wild stab at things. I always just use glue. Oh, that's right. The other ones use glue. Uh-oh. Why am I hearing sirens again? So I guess it'd be a kind of a good idea to see where this is going to go. So that, you know, we can staple it. Velcro it to where it's going to go. I don't really think it matters at this point how much we mess this dash up because it's already... <laughs> this thing is pretty much already destroyed as it is. So, ooh, look at that. Look at that, so that's where we're going to put some pieces, some more, some more Velcro pieces. Hmm. So you could take your little spatula. Oh, look at that. You can just kind of shove that. Just shove things where they need to go. Hey, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, it, no, it's ruined. Send it back. Get a new one. Can I have my dollar back, please? Hmm. This isn't bad, I mean. I'm just, I, I'm just guessing here. I think I probably have to do some, some things. Did I put a sticky right there? I did put a sticky. So that'll be cool. All right, we're kind of, we're getting somewhere now. I have to put some, mm, put a couple pieces like here, here. There, well, the ones right here will stick nice. Kind of want this up a little bit more. But that's gonna stink if all this stuff. Maybe I just stick a few pieces underneath it and then we work on the other side. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. What is that? Someone in my driveway? No. Why am I getting such a headache today? Just 
dagger the velcro pieces. Yeah, that's right by a speaker, so I don't think there's a way to do much right there. Okay. But I think... I don't know, that actually looks pretty good. Even through the through the window, it looks pretty decent. Yeah. All right. So I guess let's start uh, pulling off the adhesive, uh, and we'll pull off the little adhesive backing things there and then we'll start st sticking this down three in there oh. okay Uh oh. Okay, I guess we'll start sticking. Don't just royally F that up. somewhere. Okay. I'm just going to put a little piece right there. Pull this one off, maybe. Wait on There we go. Hmm. Not bad. All right, let's see what we can get in for the other side, huh? Oh, I just spilled them. Alright. We gotta add more, we add more, and we can talk and you know, do what we need to do. I would hop over the thing, but you know, stuff. Can I open the door? <sighs> Alright, let's see if I can do this without messing the camera up, huh? So now that we have 14 different shades of red in here, I guess we can kind of move this in closer, huh? Hey, you, you can see me. Sorry about that. Siri decided she was going to make an appearance, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna start poking around on this side. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, this is kind of neat. Shit! <laughs> oh, I just cracked speaker that wasn't cracked. Ain't that a. I 
was it I only got? Maybe I should have cut more? Oh. Mm. Uh, how about, how about here? Here and I probably have one here too in the in the, in the corner. I guess that's probably a, it's probably a probably a good idea. Start peeling this off. Let's see how bad I can mess up this side. Throw this on the floor. Can't get any worse than it already is, right? Shut up. Dealy. Okay. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> what? No way. Did we get it? So, this is one. You know what? For being a cheap, well, it's actually pretty high quality, but for being an um, an Evil Bay special kind of thing, um, this actually looks pretty good. I mean, is it perfect? No. Does it look better than it did? Definitely. Let's just see if we can kind of maybe pull these out a little bit. These ones are a little. I don't want that like buried in the bash. There we go. Maybe that'll work. Just tuck this over here. Okay. It could have went a little bit more on that side, but maybe I'm just dumb. Okay. I guess. Look at that. I just hope this holds up and doesn't get all like filthy. Go one way. Oh, look at that. What's your name in it? Allure. Mm. It's way better than what it was going on here. And if I want, like I said, I can have more about that. But it's actually not bad. Let's see what it looks like. And yeah, I forgot to oil the hinge. Oh, there's another Velcro piece. Probably, you know, right where that can go. Right. Oh, shit. Ah. Right there. Perfect. All right. Let's get you in for a close-up. Okay, well, that is not bad. Yes, you can still see some of the cracks, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. It's actually, it's not bad for a cover. I'm not really a fan of covers, but, I mean, velour is always cool, yeah? Let's see what it kind of looks like from the windshield side. That actually fits really nice. <laughs> Look at that. 
it's not bad at all. Right against the glass. I personally think the passenger side of the dashboard cover fits a little better, but I'll rock it. I don't, I, hey, I'll rock with it. So from afar, it'll look great. Like, man, it's a nice looking dash. Sorry, I couldn't, with other race car parts that I need to purchase, I couldn't see spending $250 on a repop right now. So uh, we'll kind of rock with this for a little bit and see where it's gonna go. Overall, I like it. I don't know. Hey, why not? It matches, uh, the, it goes along. I could leave it in the sun and it'll fade out a little bit and probably match the rest of the stuff. Matches the seats. All right. All right, guys, so there you go. There's a simple dash pad from Evil Bay install on the 86 Capri. A little quick one, short one, whatever you want to call it. So like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, hit the bell notification. Uh, if you want one, leave a comment because I'm not going to post the, I'm not going to post the direct link. So if you want, if you want one, I'll, I'll shoot you the link, but I'm not posting the, the, the link for it. So either way, have a great one later.